So how do you maintain the suppleness of your lips? How do you make sure your lips stay pink and hydrant? and moisture this summer because given this summer I'm sure a lot of us travel a lot we will be going to snow place we will be going to the beach places with the, the summer vacation so how do you protect your lips how do you protect your lips from this harsh sunlight without damaging them so first and foremost always make sure you use a lip balm which has got SPF and next thing moisturize the same lip balm you can use multiple times to moisturize them if they are very rough you can use exfoliants, uh, exfoliants like retinol, glycolic acid, which helps in you know good improving your cell turnover. When that happens, your lip stays more supple, and when there is a good cell turnover, there is also good uh, imbibing of moisture. So this combination usually helps in giving you a much plumpish and soft lips. So coming to pigmentation, to make sure they don't get pigmented, to make sure they stay more pinkish. You can use lip lightening products which has got a bit of kojic acid, bit of uh, lycoris extract, arbutin and also the combination of some oils like vitamin E, almond oil, coconut oil. So all this combination also works beautifully in helping your lip lightening. And when if all this does not work and everything fails, you always have a dermatologist. Please consult a dermatologist and because dermatologists are pretty experienced in giving you a much more a better uh, you know lip lightening so what do our dermatologists do we basically take help of peels and we also take help of lasers when we do a combination of peels and lasers this combination helps us in targeting the melanocytes or in targeting the stubborn pigment cells which are much deeper with the help of lasers and when we use peels we tend to target your superficial uh, part of your lips that means it helps in exfoliation, it helps in improving your cell turnover, it helps in putting your lips supple, it helps in also you know suppressing the melanocytes. So overall when we go for a combination of this treatment, your lips are a lot more lighter, a lot more softer, a lot more hydrate. And apart from this, to also to make sure if you, I mean, if you have cracked lips and let's say the lips balms are not helping you out, we always have lip hydrating fillers. So these are not fillers but they are only meant for hydrating your lips. So when these fillers are given into your lips to hydrate them, they make your lips a lot more plumpier. They make your lips a lot more, uh, there's, a, there's a good hydration. There's a very less chapping of your lips. It gives you a very good contour. That dull, uh, um, an insignificant lip texture which you have will be gone with hydrating fillers. So you can also opt for those. Thank you.